you have yet another navigational aid at your disposal that is especially helpful when working with longer documents, and that is the document map and or document thumbnails. And what this looks like, you can see by going to the View tab, and once again, just to set this up, I've used the Magna Carta, but I've added a couple of things that I didn't have before, like I've added a Section 1 heading, Section 2 heading, a Section 3 heading, and the Section 3 heading is actually using the style of Heading 2. So these two are Heading 1, and then Section 3 is using the Heading 2 style. I've also added a picture somewhere in the document as well, but you'll see that in just a moment. So to use this, let's go to the top of the document here and go to the view tab in the ribbon and this time I want to click on the show and hide grouping here and again you may see this in the ribbon itself you might have to might not have to use the drop down here but let's use the document map so show hide just a single click here to document map that brings up this section over here in the left hand pane here and this is the document map so this shows you this lets me navigate to the title of the document and then with a single click, I go to Section 1, and notice the insertion point is right at the beginning of this heading, Section 1. Section 2, bingo. And then notice how I can expand this if I have uh, heading, subheading. So this is a heading 1, heading 2 as far as the styles. Then in the document map, it shows as here's heading 1, and here is the heading 2. If I continued on and added another heading, uh, Section 4, not gore, and then went to my home tab and added a quick style of heading 3. Notice what happens. This now has a subsection. So if I click on it, bingo, it goes to right to section 4. So that, of course, can help you navigate longer documents, of course. But here's the caveat here, is that you need these section headings in place. Without any section headings, if this was just all a, a five pages you know, five pages worth of text, then it would not, we would not really be able to use this document map. Now what we could use, if that was the case, is we could use, you may have noticed this drop down menu here, this arrow, we could use the thumbnails. And if we wanted to use the thumbnails without going here first, we would just click on the view tab of the ribbon, show hide, and uh, click on thumbnails. And notice if I switch it over to thumbnails, thumbnails is already selected. So that shows me in this left hand pane thumbnails little pictures of each page of the document so if I wanted to quickly navigate to a page that had this little picture on it I can see exactly what page it's on like I, I want to edit that picture so why don't I just click here and it takes me right down to the page with that picture why because I can see it in the thumbnails click on it navigates me right there so I've added this little pointless uh, smart art into the Magna Carta here, but the real idea is just to let you see what a thumbnail would look like and how it can be used to help me navigate through some of the longer documents that I'm working with.